how can we harness the energy of the sun in our day-to-day -day lives? The energy of the sun can be utilised in everyday life. There are many examples of how the sun's energy can be used to generate electricity, light and or heat. But are the needs for solar power and the solutions available the same around the world? Developed countries have developed electricity grids that function properly, bringing access to electricity to every household for its daily needs. A solar water heater can be used to provide hot water in your bathroom or kitchen. With such a system, solar thermal panels are installed on the outside of your house and the recovered heat is then channeled back into the hot water tank. Another system, called self-consumption, uses photovoltaic panels to produce electricity for your own household and sell the surplus to the power grid to share the renewable energy with your neighbours. Outside the home, you can use solar lamps to light up your garden. And there is no need to connect them to the electricity grid, just plant the lamps in the ground. Other examples include solar-powered calculators, which need no batteries, solar heating systems for swimming pools, or using solar power to recharge batteries. There are even solar-powered toys, a great way for young and old alike to have fun while discovering the magic of energy produced by the sun. As you can see, the list of examples is long and varied. But in some parts of the world, getting access to electricity is complicated or even impossible due to the absence of a connection to the grid or for economic reasons. But modern solutions have been developed to provide that energy to as many people as possible. For example, solar panels that light up the home so school children can continue reading, studying and working on their lessons. Batteries that store solar energy and release it after sunset allow market stalls to stay open after dark so that domestic or professional activities can continue. And there are more comprehensive solutions that can be used to power refrigerators, computers or mobile phones. But surely humans have also developed projects to harness the sun's energy on a larger scale? 